Hey guys, this is David from mdbootstrap.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you 10 very useful JavaScript tricks which you probably didn't know. Short circuit conditionals are a condensed way of writing simple if statements. They take advantage of the way JavaScript evaluates logical operations such as AND. Let's have a look at example. So, we want to call this function when this value takes true. So, if we change it to false, this condition becomes falsey, and as a result we don't see anything in the console. As soon as we change it to true, obviously we can see our function being called. But we can write this in a simple way, simply by typing hungry logical operator go to fridge and the result is exactly the same. Another useful trick is to use logical OR for conditions. I use it to declare my variables at the start of my function just to avoid getting undefined if anything went unexpectedly wrong. So let's have a look at this example. If I'm gonna call my function with a parameter, it will pass parameter to the function and use the one which I passed. But if for any reason I forget to pass variable or I pass undefined, my function will use a default value, which is 32, which makes my function much more reliable. Do you know that you can change the size of your error using length? Let's have a look at this example. So our array have five elements, which you can see over here. And if we check what is the size of the array, it says five. Now, if we set our array length to three and check its size, it will show us three and truncate the table, removing last two elements. So I think you can already guess what's gonna happen if I change this to zero. This allows us to empty our array within a second. Probably you are quite familiar with JSON stringify by now, but are you aware that you can format your output by using stringify? It's quite simple actually. The stringify method takes three inputs, value, replacer, and a space. Two last ones are optional and probably that's why I didn't use them before. To indent our JSON we must use the space parameter. So let's have a look at this example. If we use stringify on that object, this is the result. But as soon as we add our space parameter, we can easily format our JSON code and make it more readable. This trick is related to type conversion. Besides the regular boolean values true and false, JavaScript also treats all other values as either truthy or falsy. Unless otherwise defined, all values in JavaScript are truthy, with the exceptions of false, undefined, null, not a number, zero, and an empty string. This means that if we try to convert any other type to boolean, like here, we will get true as a value, except for the one mentioned before. And here is the example. There are two ways to convert value to boolean. One is to use boolean function and provide a parameter, and the other one is to use two explanation mark. So, as you can see here, this value is still string, but if we use two explanation mark, it will change to true. If we apply the same to zero, which is by the default falsy, we will receive false value. Another interesting trick is also related to conversion. To quickly convert a number to a string, we can use the concatenation operator plus followed by an empty set of quotation marks. Let's have a look at the example. Currently our val is a number and it's set to one. We can see it's blue. Now instead of converting it like this, we can use a shorter version, which gives the same result. As you can expect, the opposite conversion can be also quickly achieved using... As you might guess, it's also possible to easily convert a string to number. Instead of using parse int, which converts our string into a number, we can use a plus operator, which do exactly the same. We can do it also this way. 
But what is also interesting is that we can also use this to convert our booleans to numbers. One of the very common issue is how to get access to the last element in array. Obviously, you can always check the size of the array, but there is a simpler way. You can use slice with a negative argument. So if you use minus one, it will give you the last element. If you use minus two, it will give you two last elements and so on and so on. Another very, very useful trick is to use a REST operator. Finally, the operator, sometimes called spread operator, that came with ES6 allows us to write much cleaner code and simplifies the way in which we carry out different operations. For example, we can fill arrays as follows. So, as you can see, we have first array over here, and then we can easily concatenate and add this first array into the second one simply by using REST operator. This will concatenate all arguments together and as a result we can see array which has other foo, then foo bar and then other bar. Furthermore, REST operator allows us to work with immutable objects in a simpler way. Let's have a look at this example where we can add our beta to our zeta element with use of REST operator. And finally, the most useful use of REST operator allows us to pass indefinite number of arguments to our function. So, in other words, we don't have to specify exact number of arguments. Instead, we can use REST operator, which accepts any number of arguments. So, in this case, we want to sum these three numbers, but exactly the same function can accept also four numbers and give us a correct output. Previously we talked about the spread operator and the rest operator, so now I want to show you another interesting usage of it in combination of a set. For all you ES6 fans out there, we can now create a new array containing only the unique values by using set object with a spread operator. As a result, a new array will contain only uh, unique values like here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and all the duplicates are skipped. I know we were supposed to talk about 10 tricks, but I decided to give you one more extra, which is extremely useful for myself. Very often I have to find a random number from a given range, so this short function, which you can find in the description down below, allows you to easily generate a random number from a given range. I bet that this tiny piece of code will help you to save a lot of time in a future development. Ok, so these were 11 useful tricks which makes my daily life much, much easier. Let me know in the comment what other tricks you use which helps you in your daily coding life. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.